I was picking my skin before I started filming this video, which is so stupid. You shouldn't ever pick your skin. What is that? Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, and today I wanted to film a video on my skincare routine, my updated skincare routine. A lot of you guys have been asked, <laughs> No, you haven't. Okay, like a handful of you guys have asked for an updated skincare routine. You're, you've all been so nice. I mean, you've been complimenting my skin lately and it's just been like, thanks, I've been trying so hard. Today I was looking in my magnifying mirror to pluck my eyebrows and I just saw things that needed to be squeezed. If you like makeup and like popping pimples and stuff, we have a lot in common. You should hit that subscribe button. I'm here for you every Saturday and I upload on Mondays as well. A couple months back, I did a video where I talked about how I got rid of my acne. It's just my whole acne struggle. I tried the micro needling, all that stuff, and I did a whole video on it. I will leave in the description box where you can watch that video if you are struggling with acne. Of course, everybody's skin is different. You know, you might not have the same results as I did and X, Y, Z. I'm also not a doctor if you didn't know that. <laughs> probably shocked you right now, but I'm not a doctor. So the products that I recommend today have been working for me, my skin. I can't sit here and say this is going to work for everybody. You understand, right? Okay, so I already cleansed my face. The Gliderm Gentle Face Wash. This has 0.2% glycolic acid, but this is going to help promote a smoother, brighter complexion. It has lemon extract in it, which tones and balances the skin to leave it soft and glowing. It's just a great face wash. I have been using it ever since um, my dermatologist recommended it to me for my acne and I just stuck with it because it doesn't make my face feel dry, tight, gross, you know. So this is ideal for aging skin. If you have large pores, if you are hypersensitive to products, clogged pores, blackheads, it's ideal for skin types that are oily, acne prone, mature, sensitive, normal, combo, dry, pretty much everybody. And I use this morning and and nighttime. My dermatologist recommended it to me, so I just been sticking with it because it's been working. Highly would recommend this. So the next product, hands down, has changed my skin years ago. I'm talking years ago. I remember reading an article saying that Angelina Jolie used this product and I was like, ooh, if Angelina uses that, I need to use that because I'm a sheep. I don't know what else to say about that. Anyways, so I looked up this product. I was like, ooh, I gotta use it. Angelina uses it, blah, blah. I see the price and I was like, just not today. No. So I'm not even gonna lie, these products are very pricey. The company itself is like so secretive about their pricing. You can't flip and find a price anywhere. Let me get into the product. Jesus. So this is a brand from Paris. Let me butcher the name for you. Biologique Recherche. No. I've been working with the Biologique Recherche line for over 20 years. So great product. This is a cult favorite and it's called the P50. It's a toner. So you put this on after you cleanse your face. You can do it morning and nighttime. But P50, it exfoliates, hydrates, balances the pH of your skin. It regulates excessive sebum secretion. And they have different versions of the P50. So there's like the 1970 P50, something like that. That's like the original. They have P50W, which is what I have. And this is for somebody maybe who's a little bit more sensitive. I actually haven't even put this on yet, so I'm gonna do it for you right now. I zoomed you in nice and close, very intimate. I have a cotton round. And then start on my neck dab, going upwards. Then now on the jaw, dab. You wanna dab so it penetrates the skin. <laughs> Sorry, that word. Brand says if you rub it on the face, it can cause some irritation. So I've just always been dabbing. And you dab up and towards your hairline. And then on the forehead, coming up. So you wanna wait until that is dry. It only takes like a minute for it to dry. It's nothing ridiculous. And then you can move on to the next part of your skincare. This is the 8.4 fluid ounces, and this can go anywhere from 100 to like $150, $60. It's expensive, but I think as you grow up, <laughs> you start to learn investing in good skincare is like just the key to everything. Having good skincare is what's going to make anything you put on top of it look even better. I've read some websites that show dupes or products that are similar to it. And I always 
find myself with everything in life, I tend to always try to go the cheaper route and like try to find the dupes or try to find the cheaper way of doing something. And then what happens is it's not the same. And then I end up going to get the actual product that I'm duping. And it's like, I ended up just spending more money than if I would have just gotten the thing I originally wanted. So I'm at a place in my life where I want to invest in good skincare and I'm just going to get the real thing versus trying to be cheap and dupe everything like I always do. Now the next item I use, I've mentioned before, it's the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. So this is like a very light textured formula. It contains an extremely high concentration of caffeine. The EGCG is from green tea leaves. Independent studies have shown that topical use of caffeine and EGCG can help reduce the looks of puffiness and dark circles in the eye contour. I've been using this for like uh, maybe six Six months. I haven't even made a dent in it because a little bit goes a long way. It has a dropper to it and I just tap, tap, tap around the eye, also coming onto the brow bone. And I use this morning and nighttime. I really like The Ordinary because they have a great price point for starters. This product is nice. It feels nice on my under eyes. I've been again using this for about six months. I can't say I noticed this huge difference, but I will acknowledge that I have very unrealistic standards for my skincare. I expect it to just give me a brand new face and it's not gonna happen. And it's not that I don't like my face. It's just my expectation is just, they, skincare companies may always make these big claims about doing X, Y, and Z, and you're like, yeah. Anyways, moving on. This bad boy, I love him. It's the Elta MD PM Therapy Facial Moisturizer. Moisturize, restore, and repairs your skin. This has niacinamide in it and antioxidants, which help improve skin color and tone. My dermatologist recommended this brand to me when we were clearing up my acne and I just stuck with it. Elta MD sells a face daytime moisturizer, which has SPF in it, but I personally use the PM therapy in the daytime. Now I've noticed a lot of the times with skincare moisturizers, when it has SPF in it, a lot of the times it will be more SPF and like a little bit of moisture. Does that make sense? So I want all the moisturizing ingredients and then I can add my own SPF. I want a moisturizer, not an SPF. I could buy my own SPF. This is my daytime routine, so I need SPF. Wear SPF every single day, okay? This is my ride or die. Like, I am so loyal to this, you have no idea. <laughs> this is the Neogen Daylight Protection Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. So this has dual sun blocking of UVA plus UVB. It delivers light but nourishing hydration from rose and raspberry extracts. If you are super oily, you might not like this because it gives that dewy finish, which I like because I'm dry. The combination of that Elta MD moisturizer and the sunscreen is like what gives me the nicest glow, right? I love it. I have one more product that I love. It's this bad boy. It's a Lily Anna Naturals. It's the retinol cream. This is an anti-aging moisturizer and it's formulated to be used every single day. It could be used for men, for women, it helps with fine lines, wrinkles, repair, improve, restore your skin back to life. It's 71% organic. It contains 2.5% retinol and it's organic retinol. This vitamin A formulation, it delivers noticeable results, but it won't leave your skin feeling red or dry and you don't need a prescription to to get like this type of of retin-a i was browsing on amazon as one does and this came up for some reason and it had almost five stars and a shit ton of reviews i believe this is like 10 to 15 dollars so i was like you know what i want to try it reason being if you watched again my acne video, I talked about using a prescription retinol that I got from my dermatologist. That definitely helped clear up my skin a lot, but it would leave me feeling very red and flaky. Cut it down and use it like once every other day. It clears up your skin, but it can just cause a lot of redness and irritation. Plus it makes your skin extra sensitive to the sun. Yeah, so I was just like, you know what? I wanna find something else that gives me that result, but doesn't leave me feeling so dry and flaky. So I took a leap and tried this one. And wow, this is like my second purchase of it. Um, I finished one already. It lasted me maybe like two months. I use it every single night. Um, I guess you can use it daytime too, but I like my other one. 
but this has been so great to my skin. My skin's really been liking it. I haven't used it the last couple of days because I've been lazy. I don't, I've been like washing my face and going to bed, hence why this is happening to me. <laughs> it's punishment. Anyways, but this normally helps just keep like the pore sizes down. It helps clear breakouts and it's safe enough to use every single day where I'm not getting that drying flakiness. So I know again, it could be overwhelming that I just threw all these products at you, but it's super easy. So at nighttime, every single night, cleanser, P50, eye cream, if I'm up for it, sometimes I skip eye cream because I'm lazy. Retinol, daytime, cleanser, P50, eye cream, moisturizer, SBF. I know this was a lot of me talking and stuff, but I hope you find this video a little helpful. I'll leave down in the description box where you can find everything. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day today. You make good choices. If you end up purchasing any of these products, I would love to hear like in a month or so how it's working for you. Cause I know you're gonna thank me later. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. You make good choices and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.